Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are still on Crusader Kings for the uh, game capture. Uh, I really should restart this video, but I can't be bothered to. Here we are. We're in Europa. I'm just going to run this the old fashioned way. There we go. It's like it was just seamless, wasn't it? Just wonderful. I love it. Okay, so we are currently working our way through some of this coring. We need 105 admin power to finish off this one, and then we can start working on our admin tech at long, long last. We have bumped up our armies, and that's great. We're a little concerned right now about Songhai being allied with the Ottomans. We may end up having to fight them at some point. The question is, when would we want to do that? We do have a rebel uprising brewing. Now is probably not the time. We'll go ahead and core that. So that is absolutely wonderful. We can build province improvements, and that is something that we should do, but we are currently saving up, of course, to get ourselves manufactories. We only need about 7,800, which is not that much more than what we have right now. That <laughs> actually just went up a bit, but sure, that's okay. We currently have 22% embraced, and as we save up, this will go down a little bit. Not by a lot, but by some here and there. Oh, right, we're at war. I uh, may have forgotten about that. <laughs> okay, what was our plan over here? We're at war with these guys right now. We need to definitely bring our ships up over here. We're at war with multiple enemy forces over here. So we're going to bring our ships up. And that is fine. We do need to continue colonizing in some of these locations. But we also want to take some of this territory. 39 development. Okay, yeah. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. How much of this will be lost, though, when the tribal, the, the tribal people are gone? That's my question. We'll find out. I'm not too experienced with this sort of colonialism in these games, but that is okay. So we're going to head on out here, and these guys, they're going to invade here. Now, these guys have a lot of units, but they're Miltech 7. So uh, we don't expect them to be very effective. And actually, they have a lot of cavalry. They're very cavalry heavy. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, we definitely expect to crush them here, even without leadership and even with them having a numerical advantage. Our technology should carry the day. In theory. It's going to be a bit before we land there, so I guess for now we can come on over this way. Take a look at some of our... Okay. Grasses, we can definitely boost up the opinion here. Let's go ahead and do a royal marriage there. That'll be fine. Take a look at some of our vassal situations here, but we are building some spy networks, and we're going to be in here in just a couple months. More specifically, like one month at this point. So that'll be fine. They do have access to cannon, but they only have the one cannon. So let's see what ends up happening here. This is going to be interesting. I definitely expect to win this. Yeah, we're just crushing their morale. That's what I expected to see. There we go. So that's a decent chunk of war score. We'll get this siege done, and then we'll head down over here. And then we'll head down over here as well. I want all of this. Like, we want to annex this territory, if we can. We'd like to fight these guys as well. That would be nice. We could do a long-term investment for, for some diplomatic power, or gain 7,000 ducats. 15% trade efficiency for 10 years. That's probably better. Well, is it though? Probably. Hang on. I'm probably going to calculate this a little bit naively. I'm not sure exactly how the trade efficiency calculation works. Actually, we can see here. 
Basis for how much income you can get out of your merchants. Yeah, I'm not sure if a 15% trade efficiency will be net equivalent to a 15% increase, but uh, 172.4. 172.4 multiplied by 12 or by by this what 15 percent 15 percent so by 0.15 that's like 26 per month if it's a flat increase multiply that by 12 and then multiply that this was a 10 year gain by 10 and apparently change over here Actually, there we go. Let's get back into here. Perfect. Actually, that's only like 3,100, assuming that that's a flat 15% increase and not modified by anything else. So technically, we're better off taking the cash if we don't care about the dip power, which we don't. We're ahead of time in dip tech right now. So we're going to take the cash, and that means that we immediately grab manufactories. Boom. Boom. Excellent. That then means that Diptek 22 is immediately available. Great. And immediately, we're nine years ahead of time. That's fantastic. We're super, super happy about that. So this siege is going to be finishing up momentarily here. There we go. We're going to land over here once we can. Get rid of that. There we go. And let's just attach these guys on over. And we're going to head over here. Trade protection CB. Sure. We don't really care. We're at 60% war score right now. Ottomans are still pretty upset with us. We're just kind of waiting for them to get into a big war right now is what's happening. And we're letting our manpower regen. I am going to want to fight them at some point fairly soon. So let's go ahead and select these guys. In we go. We can see that there's actually some... That's to be expected. We can see that there's actually... Wait, they walked over this. I watched them walk over this. But this is impassable. Isn't it? I guess we'll find out. Shaga is self-sustaining. So we'll go ahead and work in, Tong in Tana right now. There we go. Okay. think that this is impassable. Maybe not. Maybe this is just weird looking. Hang on. No, it's not impassable. Okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> That's fine. We're not going to accept this peace deal right now. And decline. And we're going to land over here. Now, I don't think that there's anything else over in the Terra Incognita out here. That's fine. That is completely okay. We're going to take some territory over here. We're going to want to fight Portugal eventually. Portugal's kind of upset with us. <laughs> We're not shocked about that one. We can build a great temple, and in fact, we can build a few of those. So we'll go ahead and do that as kind of a top priority right now. We won this siege, and now these guys are going to be moved over to here. Beautiful. Friesland has some territory over here as well. We're going to want to fight over Australia, probably. But let's, for now, build some workshops. Excellent. And now, manufactories. Continuing to pump those out. Yeah, of course they want peace. That's going to be a thing. Everybody wants peace. Except us. We don't want peace right now. We want to continue to attack. So there we go. We'll land here. We don't expect that they will put up much of a fight. And in we go. In fact, we don't ex... Seriously? That black flag does. We have military access here, but not in Friesland. If we move back here, will that unblack flag us? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> That's kind of irritating that that happened, if I'm honest. Black flagged right then. How rude. Do we have to move back to our own territory? Will this work? Hey. 
I don't think this will work either. We have to move back to our territory. Wow. Let's just embark. And you know what? I have an idea. Okay, so that is... Uh, let's see. We can only do, do three of them here. Yeah, I don't care about looking at my capital. Okay, so who is this? No, I, I really don't care about looking at my capital. I guess we could annex this and this. Then we'd Zimbabwe Vassal Tiwi. Like that. Other options. We could vassalize these guys separately. Let's go ahead and do that. Something along the lines of this. Okay. And then, let's see, who else do we have here? These guys we don't have anything on, really. We're gonna have to wait for a diplomat to come back. That's okay. We do have Miltech 21 right now. That's great. And really, we probably should put it into here, but we're going to wait on that for now. We're going to move these guys back over here. And then as soon as our diplomat is back, we'll fi figure out the rest of this peace deal. So these guys are our vassals. That's fine. And I would love to vassalize both of these. Or maybe take this territory and this territory and vassalize these guys. That would be ideal. Okay. Okay. We're actually just going to walk back in now. Cool. So we've taken this back. We're going to land over here. Fight their force. And hope that Friesland doesn't screw us over again. <laughs> that was very rude of them. But it looks like they're not going to. Because Friesland is in here sieging. We're also going to siege. Unfortunately, Friesland is the leader here, and Europa doesn't have a hostile force system the way that Crusader Kings does for dealing with situations like this. So this is, yeah, this is Friesland's siege. But maybe we can do something here. Mughals are in a golden era. Okay, that's neat. So what we're going to do is we are going to see if we can... Zimbabwe vassal. No, is the answer. Okay. Fascinating. So we want to take this and this, right? And then Zimbabwe vassal these guys. And I guess this is all we can do. Like that. Actually, we can do this. Tiwi would become a vassal of Zimbabwe. Who will seed this? I don't know who will seed this. Someone will seed this. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, interesting for sure. We'll send that demand. Okay. So these guys, they're going to walk over here. And we'll have our transports just chill, like, down over here. These, this should become part of Zimbabwe, Australia. Yes. Fantastic. Then we're going to continue working on this over here. But for right now, we do want to come up this way. Take a look at the Ottomans. They are being kind of jerks right now. Fair enough. That's mostly what they do. We're going to build a few more workshops. And no additional Grand Temples, looks like, but a few additional Manufactories. And hey, this is down to one page. Great. 50 admin power. We do need admin power. That is a thing. We desperately need admin power. We are behind time on admin tech, and in fact, that is costing us unbalanced research at this point. So that is a problem. We want to deal with that. So we're going to bring up our admin tech. What is the Ottoman mill tech? 21. So they're on par with us. Cool. 
And when did this technology first come online? 22 was first reached like 11 years ago. Okay. That's nice. As far as enlightenment goes, we aren't expecting enlightenment to spawn in our territory. There is a possibility. If it does, that's hilarious and awesome. But we're not super invested in that. We do want to continue building these manufactories until there are no more to build. And economically, we're incredibly strong. Like, incredibly strong. We have no economic concerns. This is not our territory. Our colony over here is now self-sustaining, and we're going to continue to colonize over this way. There are some Europeans over here in Australia, and we're going to need to remove them. Friesland, what miltech are you? Wait, we should probably fire on, or rather attack these guys. Let's go ahead and start building a spy network over here. Wait, do we even need to? We probably have a colonialism CB. We don't. We don't have a colonialism CB. We have one against Frizzy in Australia, which now exists, and we might want to fight them. That's probably a thing that we could do. We have an unassigned merchant, and we can purchase an ability here. Uh, let's see here. These are all kind of bad, in my opinion. Not great. Not great at all. I guess harsh treatment cost reduction? Not that we're ever going to use that. Cool. I'm not too interested in any of those abilities. Now, as far as our merchant goes, we're still collecting down in Cape of Good Hope. So, this is pushing all down this way. So, we want to push into the Zanzibar trade node, which we are from Gulf of Aden. And we want to push up actually over this way and then down over here for the multiplicative effect. What we want to do right now is probably push from the Australia trade node. It can only go up this way. From here, value can only go here. In the Malacca trade node, we want to push up this direction. From here, it goes into the Bengal trade node, which can, can only go here. And then from there, we're pushing it the correct direction. So we want to go into the Malacca trade node and transfer trade power. We want it to go up this way, not down this way. Down this way, it still ends up at our location, but so many more multiplicative bonuses from going up this way. So this is the way we want. It's already going that way, but we want to make sure of that. We lost a general over here in a drilling accident, and let's go ahead and put a new general on in. Five fire pips. Cool. Okay, in this trade node, I want to make sure that we're pushing the correct direction. It's not hugely important because it's already going this way, but we can wield our 3% trade power and that'll be fine. Come on, merchant. Okay, you can see he's pushing this way. We want him this way. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Admin power. Yes, please. Give us that sweet, sweet admin power. That gives us 250 governing cap. There we go. Access to furnaces. That would be pretty good, too. So, yeah, we're going to continue catching up with our admin tech for a bit here. Our mill tech, we probably do want to continue putting in copper bottoms and mass battery. Finishing out quality ideas. Once that is finished, we will get that sweet, sweet 5% discipline. And we are going to not tariff our colonial nation too heavily. I would rather have the power right now. Like, legitimately, we don't care about cash. We're making so much money. It is insane. Speaking of money, let's make more money. The colonial company, company is going bankrupt. We're going to pay. We don't care. It's completely fine. Ottoman's opinion of us would go down, or we could get animus syncretism. Syncretism? Syncretism. And we would get the uh, missionary strength, and the religion of Ejebu would change to Sunni. 20 years of 1% missionary strength, though, is pretty good, and we're going to go for that. We can always convert it back later. We're going to build a few more of these manufactories. We're getting very close to having all of those fully built. 
That's fantastic. We're very pleased about that, and it's going to be like five months before we can build the rest. So, cool. We'll definitely accept that. Now, down over this way. We want to declare war on these guys. We cannot fabricate the claim just yet. Ottomans were building a spy network in our territory. We're shocked. Completely and utterly shocked. It's almost like we're rivals or something. <laughs> almost. Let's get these manufactories constructed. Half of them anyway. And then the next one we can construct on this month tick. And then two more month ticks before we can get our last manufactory built. Again, we're doing this for the economic benefits. We are not doing this for the institution, which we already have. After we're done building manufactories, we want to spam out the universities, assuming that Enlightenment is not going to spawn in our territory. So that's the thing. It is eligible to spawn in our territory. We'll see if it does. We are number one in the Great Powers. And that's great. By a pretty wide margin, actually. I kind of want to start flexing our muscles on the Ottomans a bit. If I'm honest. We can start converting, but uh, let's take a look here. I want to do this, like, the fastest possible. But Rawa will work. Okay. So, if we were to fight Songhai, Ottomans, Kablia, and Jared. Jared's here. Who's Kablia? Kabilia? Maybe Kabilia. Apparently, Caps Lock was on. Fantastic. That's not over here. That's like the... Uh... Hang on a moment. Hmm. Distance between borders is a bit of a problem for them. That's interesting. So, as far as the Songhai War goes, the only thing that we really care about here is Ottomans. They're Miltech 21. They have comparable manpower reserves. Their armies are substantially smaller. Substantially smaller. We expect their armies to be on par with ours at this point. So, if they have 176, this is, like, two of our armies here would be roughly comparable to their full army. If we were to shift this army group up as well. And have these all be in, like, similar areas up here. We could prepare for a pretty decent war with the Ottomans. These two army groups should be more than capable of dealing with Songhai. And this seems fine. Our frigates over here, they should absolutely be uh, protecting trade somewhere. They're currently not. And 74. I like it. Off they go. Okay, so we're going to move up, and I think we're going to prepare for a war with the Ottomans. I'm done waiting. I think that we can take them. So that should be fine. Our colony in Korea has grown enough to become self-sustaining. Not that Korea. This Korea. <laughs> and we are going to go ahead and continue to fill in our little area over here. There's not too much left to fill in. And that's great. We can core that, and so we shall. We lost our trade dispute, CB. We don't care. These guys are moving up to here, and we want them to be, like, in a sob. That'll be fine. And these guys are moving up to Axum, and then these will just park in Lake Simeon. Okay. So, the overall strategy here is overwhelm the Ottomans. What's going on here? Russia wants to trade favors for ducats. I don't care about ducats. Except. Remember, we can call Russia in on this as well. Since we have those favors. Pretty great. Yeah, I think that we're basically ready to declare this. All of these units up here, I mean, these guys are still making their way up. So we'll wait on that. 
but it'll take the Ottomans time to come down here as well. We can fight the Ottomans largely defensively and then take like some territory over here, maybe over here. I'd love to kick them out of Africa. I mean, we're not going to get all that this war. But if we can take some territory from Ottomans, that's going to go a long way towards changing the balance of power here. And of course, we'll get territory from Songhai. I'm not worried about Songhai. Now, they're Miltech 21 as well. They're the same Miltech as us. So we need to keep that in mind. They are... They only have 66,000 troops and 50k manpower. They're a lot weaker. And I feel like that's completely fine. I think that we should declare this. We can separate peace Ottomans and Songhai. And we can, like, vassalize these two. That should be fine. So. I think we do this. We don't have a CB. That'll be important. We'll build our spy network over there. We'll pull, say, these guys back. Or this guy, anyway. And let's just get ready for this. And next episode, we will declare that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.